Um, let me first, before I tell you a little bit about the lab or what my lab does. The College of Bioengineering provided visitors with a tour of the Everett Lab before it reopens. 1964 U of I graduate John Johnson remembers when it was a new field of study and is amazed at how the program will grow with its new location. Students are going to be involved in, in protected environments. I mean, we're dealing with living cells, with, with doing engineering. Many students have been denied admission in the college, partially due to a shortage of space. But the move to Everett will double its acceptance rate with the help of its larger labs. In the past, the program was only allowed to admit 70 students due to limited space. With the new renovations, they will now be allowed to admit 150 students. The department also plans to make room for both colleges of medicine and engineering. Associate Professor Roy Dar is intrigued that each group will be able to help one another since they're all under one roof. Two different labs in this building or other people outside of this building that are even not even working on your problem, they can still find ways to access your what you're doing and vice versa. Tour attendees, including Johnson, enjoyed the setups they saw throughout the building. The U of I alumni was fascinated by what will come from the program based on the direction they're headed. And I have to say it blows my mind away to see what they are doing and the opportunities that exist. The college will reopen their new home in 2018 to give students an experience unlike any other. In Urbana, I'm David Pierce reporting UI7 News.